just a poor white boy. All right, I got a, I got a good one today. Got it's a little fella, and uh, as you know, I open up everything on camera, and so, uh, and the reason I do that is, is you know, every time you get pulled over by the police and handcuffed, they always, they always say, well, you, this is for your protection and mine. So I open up everything, everything that costs more than a uh, case of beer that I don't drink. <clears throat> anything that costs any kind of money I always open it up on camera and uh, as I teach you all uh, you know inspect your package now this one was sent via the USPS uh, it's got a little booger and a little booger spot on the box but I didn't buy the box I bought the little guitar that's inside uh, I shake it around it's got a little shake to it could have had a little more padding to it that's all right it'll be okay uh, I bought this off a private individual through, uh, or I bought it off of somebody on Reverb. I used uh, uh, a third-party uh, money guy, so if it's a piece of trash, we go ahead and get our money back. That's what you do. That's what you do. Okay, so we're going to open it up right here on the camera and see exactly. I do this so if anybody has any disputation, that's a fancy word, ain't it? Anybody wants to dispute the condition of it is right here now you want to come call me a liar we'll take it to we'll take it to the next level you damn just like you are you don't want to be called no liar so uh it wasn't taped the greatest uh it could have been taped a little better but it survived i mean don't look like anybody was uh fooling with it so let's open this thing up and see what we got see if we i know what i'm supposed to have but let's see what i really have now look, if anybody out there, like my buddy Chad, anybody out there, police officer, you know, I don't mind the handcuffs, you know, but if you bring it out them pink, I know this is June and everything, but if you bring it out them, them pink handcuffs with the fur lining on them, I don't really care to be on your body cam. Now that box has got a, a boo-boo right there. Let's get a... Uh, before it's all the way open. There's a boo-boo right there on the box too. Dent it in, kind of good, but right there's the dent. Right there's where I feel body part. So we'll see, we, we're probably okay. You know, there ain't a demon behind every bush. So far, so good. I bought this thing and pictures of it showed it was in a case. It's in the case. Now when you buy, instruments like this the case is a very very welcome commodity shall we say now we're going to pull it out of the case we're going to pull the case out of the box before we even look at the rest of the instrument we're going to uh look at the case because this case is about to excite me and i hope uh the guitar inside is just as nice the case is old baby it's got leather hinges on it, okay? The case is old. It's got a leather handle on it. All right. Let's open it up. This is this is this might be this might be one of them beautiful. This might be one of those make my day kind of moments. Let's see what we got. Got to get a little bit of the gravity, the anti gravity going on here. Now that ain't so bad so far. You seen it? It's the first time I see it. All right. This is a Dickerson lap steel guitar. Supposed to be about a 1947. The case is in decent shape for being that old, and you know it's that old. And it was sitting on my lap. That's why they call it a lap steel. Elmer, there's something to play with. He's right there worrying me. Let's take care of that case. It's in decent shape, so we don't want to make it undecent. I like that. I like that. Uh, 
if it's as good as what I think it is, I got it too cheap. So here we go. Dickerson. Supposed to be about 1947. Accurately described, one of the ferrules was missing. There is a chip out of the uh, stuff on it. It's, it's not uh, tuned high. I mean, it's not tuned full, so it's good. We, uh, I think we come out smell like it's a proverbial rose today. So we'll, uh, we'll plug it into the electronics. There was a disclaimer. The electronics may have a little, be a little fussy. Uh, but it ain't nothing we can't handle. Uh, one knob here has a hairline crack on it. But, uh, folks, I'm, it's got Cluse and Deluxe tuners on it. The tuner buttons, uh, and the pictures didn't look the greatest and they don't look the greatest in real life because they're old they're gonna break off someday but right now they're still there uh don't seem to bend up bad i think we're gonna uh we're gonna like this one let me go tune it up son check it out you know up there in west virginia where my handsome brother lives my brother's so handsome and he's the best guitar player in West Virginia, too. But they got a saying up there in West Virginia that even a blind pig finds an acorn. Acorn. Or sometimes they say acorn, okay? If you're from West Virginia, you understand. Even if you're from South West Virginia, Southwest Virginia in the Southwest part, you understand what acorn is, right? And North Tennessee. Hey, hey to all my buddies up there in Bristol. This is my acorn today. Anyhow, if you get a chance, go ahead and, and, and like, share, and subscribe to the to the Rock and Hillbilly or or Love Child Reviews. But uh, it it don't cost a whole lot. Anyhow, uh, what we got here is Blind Pig Acorn, and this thing 1947, 1947 Dickerson lap steel, beautiful little thing. I just opened it up for you. In the description that was given to me uh, from the man who was selling it. He said the, the one of the knobs is a little finicky. Well, that's the modern knob. I got the best electronic guy south of me, Mason Dixon. We'll have that took care of in about two and a half minutes, all right? No problem. Tone knob works like it's supposed to. Beautiful, man. So that's all I got to say is some days you're the windshield, some days you're the bug. Today I am the windshield, baby. So uh, I left my steel my steel you know little thing you slide around i left it i think i left it with some chick the other night uh uh and i take my telephone number to it <laughs> it wasn't really my telephone number so she think i was coming back to see her <laughs> you know that ain't gonna happen baby yeah so you know these little allen wrenches that they give you when you buy guitars i got about a thousand of them it's the only thing i got right now to show you this thing works but let's see Let's give it a rip, baby. Rock and roll, baby. I did that with my eyes closed. Oh, you know what? I hate to let my brother know, but I'll never be as good as him. Appreciate you. Love you. Uh, if, if vote for whoever you want to vote for, and if you don't like the other guy, don't vote for him, okay? Just quit trying to put him in jail all the time. Lord, live and let live, baby. Let's all be free on this earth, man, you know? Let's make this the, the summer of uh, real love or something. I don't know, man. I got to go. It's hot down here in Alabama, and I got work to do. I work for a living. So that's why when I buy something like this, I need every break I can get, and you do too. God love you. <laughs> you know the thing, man, the thing. God love them. <laughs>